Hey guys, so I got all my feelings. I'm so excited. Chocolate mint cookie crisp looks so good. And I'm just really excited to find di a diet for me. Got all my feelings here. I'm really excited. Hello, how's it going, Willow Davis? Uh, obviously that stuff is not mine. Don't worry about it. Now I know some of you prefer these reactions to be done with me sitting up, but it's very late and I'm tired and believe it or not, this position is preferable to me, so let's go ahead and watch, what's this one called? New Highest Weight? Can't wait. Ooh, starting off with another epic fight scene. <laughs> this is so funny. Hey guys, I'm actually just like excited for today because I love the house. I went and hung out with friends and family and some are actually coming over right now and it just felt good because I haven't had the energy to leave the house in like forever it feels like. I don't know, I just feel really good and I just kind of wanted to document that. You know what? Energy to leave the house is good. I'll take it. I'll take that as a win. <laughs> okay, uh, interesting Snapchat plug here. Some. Hardcore PDA. Is this a premium Snapchat or what? I wanted to show you guys what I just got from Amazon. <laughs> Rarity though. And listen to this. Literally ASMR. Um, not for me. Um, you'll be able to tell when I bounce back and forth between quality, because like currently I'm using my phone and then sometimes I'll use my camera and you'll be able to tell the difference, so I'm sorry about that. We gotta upgrade you to 60 FPS, I'm thinking. Up the quality. I got this, the Self Love Workbook. It's a life-changing guide to boost self-esteem, recognize your worth, and find genuine happiness. There's interactive activities in it, reflection prompts, and helpful advice. Okay, we're back on the workbooks, cool. By loving yourself, you'll wanna better yourself even more. I don't know, this is very positive, and I feel like that's something that I currently need in my life. Okay, again, I'll take it. I mean, the the this book isn't isn't a isn't a fix all, but uh, you know what? If it's if it's uh, helping you get in that mindset. Season eleven of RuPaul. Woo! I have never seen this show, and I have no interest in it at all. Not that there's any problem with people who do. Don't unsubscribe. It's cold in here. I had the window open for a little bit because we were all getting hot. Um, Hannah and Rafe came over earlier as well. I don't think I mentioned. We've hung out with them like three days in a row. It's all been just like a crazy last few days. That does sound like a crazy last few days. Really needed to get out of the house and I've been doing that a bit more. But we were all getting like hot up in oh. here. So I ended up opening this window and I literally could see my breath, it was so cold. Um, I can't see my breath anymore, thank God. Cause I ended up um, closing the window, but anyways. Hello everyone, um, I'm sorry if you can't really understand me. Um, I have went to the dentist today. Do you want me to tell them, babe? So yeah, Becky went to the dentist today. She was supposed to only get some fillings done, but while she was there, they're like, you know what? There's a tooth we can take out. It's like a root of a tooth. It was like a tooth that had broke off like way in the back. I think it was a wisdom tooth and uh, they took it out. So now she's like really numb and in a lot of pain and oh, my poor baby. I would be pretty ticked if I was Becky, like going for like just like a little thing or whatever. And they're like, uh, I mean, I guess for the best, right? But 
Ugh. Like, so what, what an unexpected thing. Look at what Peter Mon just uploaded. Him and Trisha in the same video. He's at Trisha's house on Trisha's floor. Could not care less. How you doing, babe? It's starting to hurt. It's starting to hurt? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That sucks. I would be friggin' ticked. So, we're at Walmart because... I need to get a few things. Oh my god, what smooth gliding camera panning. It's like a wonderful movie or like a drone shot. It's um actually a few days after my last clip. So, hello again. Oh, hi. I love this color green. That is super pretty. Look at that. I actually have the maroon one. So this is a bag on a belt. So do they mean a fanny pack? Um, I guess, yeah. So one of the things that I got from Walmart is this really big storage. And I got this because I have a lot of wax melts, as you can see, literally bulging out of this container basket type thing. So I'm going to put them in here in order of like spring, summery, and then like wintery fall down here. You could put them in a pot on the stove, all just all of them at once, see what kind of smell it makes. All right, so it is completed. So this drawer is the winter and fall scents. These ones are very autumn and leaves and things that smell like Christmas and Thanksgiving. And then this one is like summery, springy, has like foods that are more like lemon and raspberry, which you can see on top. This one is I think the fullest one and that is just like smells that you can smell all year round linen cotton the way she says cotton cotton just very common smells like that hey guys so this vlog was not long at all and I know people prefer longer videos oh was that it oh my god I was gonna start this whole thing in a whole separate video, but I figured we'll start it here and start it now. So I want to do a hundred days of trying something without failure. Just give it a hundred. There's a website for that, which I'm not gonna be like part of, but... Oh my god, she loves doing these like programs without actually like committing to it. If you do something for a hundred days, you'll get better at it you'll be more successful. Sure, I guess. 100 days is just over three months, but if you do something every single day to try to better yourself, whether you want to draw a picture and you want to practice more or practice on a guitar. I believe in the working world, we call that 10,000 hours, actually. Or for me, count calories. You've definitely counted calories 100 days by now, right? I want to, for 100 days, I want to weigh myself, I want to count calories, and I know perfection is not real. I don't even know why there's a such thing as that word because there really isn't anything in this whole world that is perfect. Just not how it works. That was a massive unnecessary diss to Big Yoshi. So I'm not aiming per for perfection, but I'm aiming for success. And I'm aiming for triumph. And I'm aiming for me to actually succeed in something. Okay, me too. Sounds good. I'm definitely going to be showing you guys and telling you guys how much I weigh every single day. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but I got this 100 more days of weight loss day by day journal, which that's perfect because this is a 100 day challenge that I want to do. What happened to the last workbook? What, are we doing? I guess we're doing both. We're doing both. It's fine. It's fine. So today is day one, obviously, and the subject was just talking about people who inspire you, people who have also lost weight and kind of write about like how they were successful in that. And they've all done it the same way, calorie counting. And I didn't realize that until after I was done writing down the three people because you have to say like how they've lost weight. And I was like, 
Is that a coincidence? I think not. Like anything that is super restrictive for me is not sustainable. Just eating healthy, allowing myself to have brown rice, allowing myself to have a banana. I mean, calorie counting is very restrictive. Anything you do is gonna be restrictive, especially for what you're used to. You just have to just, just accept that it's gonna be very restrictive, like, like everyone else, I don't know. And if bananas and rice were the, it's not the problem, is bananas and rice, but I don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna nitpick. Banana and rice, that's, that's the culprit. Which both of those things are pretty high in carbs, but allowing myself to have what the earth has grown for us is sustainable. Oh boy. Let's try vegan again. The, what the earth has grown for us. Which one of you is out here telling her she can't have rice and bananas? Who, why are you doing that? So I have a calorie limit and I'm gonna be tracking on the app called Lose It because on there, every day or every time that you weigh in, the calories lower, which I love that because your body starts to get used to calories. What? What does that mean? But for those of you who watch me strictly for weight loss, I'm sure you're excited. Nobody, no, 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 it's been years, come on. So as you guys know, my highest weight from before was 560 and now it's 564. All right, so that'll about do it for this video. And I feel like what works for me is waiting as long as possible after I wake up to eat. I'm talking like maybe four hours because I feel like when I have breakfast, that makes me binge. I don't know, it's weird, it's a thing, but you just have to find what works for you. How dare you blame breakfast? It's not breakfast's fault. There's nothing wrong with breakfast. I love breakfast. So anyways, I'm gonna end this video and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye. Bye. Great, okay, so. At least we got a new new plan here that involves uh, more self-care. I don't know. I know I, I said uh, no, my I had some some tough words in my last uh, Amberlynn reaction, but at least I got it all out there what I wanted to say. And she did say at one point there's going to be stuff she's going to be posting other than this diet plan and. 100 days and all that, so I, I am hoping for that and looking forward to that because uh, the, the diet stuff I can't, I, I can't even do anything with it. But so, so uh, I'll take I'll take some more Walmart trips. That's fine with me. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash subscribe. Maybe give it a little thumbs up and uh, follow me on. Twitter and Instagram, Willow Davis Rocks. And I'll see you next time. Willow Davis out.